the first thing we do is realize it's a privilege to suffer for the Lord. Uh, I know people who have left uh, relationships because the relationships pulled them away from the Lord and it left them lonely. The mistake we sometimes make is to say, after obeying the Lord, okay, what are you gonna do for me now, God, to sort of compensate me for my obedience? And we expect some sort of double blessing to come, this, this huge outpouring of a gift of some sort from the Lord and a very tangible blessing in our lives. And if that doesn't happen right away, we can grow disillusioned and say, where is the Lord? Well, maybe I can't trust him after all. Maybe he's not the answer that I thought he would be. If we think that way, is that we don't understand what discipleship really is all about. Jesus said that whoever follows him is called to take up his or her cross, uh, and that it means a life of not deprivation, but of maybe not having all our dreams come true in the way we thought. There is a suffering that goes along with obedience, and sometimes that's loneliness. But that's not the end of the story. If you think about Paul's thorn in the flesh, when he pleaded with the Lord three times to be delivered from, from what his, his great trouble was, and the Lord did not remove his trouble from him, his thorn. Instead, he said, my grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in your weakness. So how did Paul respond when he would realized that? He said, therefore I, therefore I will rejoice and be glad in my sufferings, for when I am weak, then I am strong. And he was able to say that not because it was the right spiritual answer, but because he'd experienced firsthand that if God withholds something from us, it's to give us something even better. And it's this, this amazing strength and the grace of fellowship with the Lord that nothing else comes close to fulfilling in our lives. So if we lose something as a result of obedience, if we're lonely because of obedience, it's a privilege and it's a sign of our, that we're walking with the Lord and we can be confident that we are pleasing the Lord by living through it and we will have no regrets later.